The International Space Station is a symbol of global cooperation. Space agencies of the U.S., Russia, Canada, Europe, and Japan are involved in the ISS, built for conducting experiments in a weightless environment. Russia has now pledged to continue its funding for the project through 2024. As a result, other nations involved in the space station may make firm commitments to its future. But after 2024, the Russians plan to go it alone. Russia is indispensable for the operation of the space station, for the moment at least. All crew members travel to and from the ISS in a Russian Soyuz spacecraft, currently the only functioning vehicles that can get astronauts there and back. The U.S. suspended its shuttle flights in July 2011. Since NASA mothballed the space taxis, it's been dependent on hitching a ride on Russian spacecraft. That's why the Americans have been hard at work on their own transporters. Initially, the Orion spacecraft was considered as a way of ferrying astronauts to the ISS. Its first manned flights are scheduled for 2021. Recently, the Orion capsule successfully took part in an unmanned test flight. The Dragon spacecraft has been delivering supplies to the ISS for more than two years. It's one of two freight transport systems that have been developed and constructed by private companies with funding from NASA. The U.S. Space Agency wants the independent sector to take over cargo operations. There's already a manned version of the Dragon spacecraft. Its maker, SpaceX, is planning to launch it in 2016. The reusable capsule will be capable of carrying up to seven astronauts to the ISS, and more modules will be added to the space station. This is the heart of the Russian part of the ISS. It was sent into orbit nearly 17 years ago. Russia's latest modules, two large labs and a connecting module, are equipped with the latest technology and are due to dock on the station in the next few years. A mobile lab is also planned, in which experiments are conducted automatically. It will only need to dock when maintenance is required or new experiments are due. The first step toward a new generation of less expensive space stations. After 2024, Russia wants to unhitch its high-tech modules from the space station and use them to construct its own national outpost in space.